All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Oshinoko episode nine. In the last episode, we had the kind of results of Akane's training to becoming like I. Uh, thankfully, it didn't last too long. It was kind of the one episode thing. Obviously, she got in character, needed to did what she needed to do, um, kind of basically won the show or kind of become the most popular couple, I suppose. Become the only couple from the scenes of it. Uh, well, on screen. And um, then, yeah, she's probably no longer going to use this I personality, maybe. I don't know. It feels like a lot in terms of story, uh, maybe to only use once. So we'll see in the future. And then out of nowhere, at the end of the episode, we have, well, potentially Mem or Memu, Mem Memo, Memo-chan, um, was asked by Aqua to join Bikamachi, which is pretty damn cool. Wasn't expecting it. I wasn't actually expecting her to be a recurring character, but... Hey, if she does join, which is, it seems like she likely will, I'm, I'm here for her. She was a cool character. Nothing against her. So, yeah, looking forward to this uh, episode. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. <laughs> hey, he's doing a good job here. 370,000. Nice. Yeah, you got hella followers on TikTok. Oh, that's cool. So she's got no ties. Nice. Strawberry Productions is getting off to a great start. Well, restart. Wait, is she not actually her real age? Is she older than 18? Oh, so what, she's like 21 or something? She's not going to be like 30 or something, is she? What? How old is she? She's 24? Wow. So she's 25? <laughs> Wow, she's my age. That's crazy. Oh, I'm glad she didn't actually fall for anyone then. God, she does look so young. Crazy. I suppose, I suppose with that hairstyle and personality, she doesn't stick out too much. Oh, no. Oh, she worked her ass off. Yeah, classic Japan. Oh, so even though YouTube and TikTok probably pay better, she still really wants to be an idol. You still, you're, you're believable 18 year old for an anime character, so it's fine. Oh, hello, Ruby. Like, these two look the same age. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to love having these three. There's no stopping someone's longing. Let's go, Ruby. The hot, isn't there like a whole 10 year difference between Ruby and... Uh, there's like a 9 year difference. Are they 15 or 16? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> you womanizing house steward. That's fucking funny. What's with you kids? Oh my god. Well, that was awesome. Cool. She's gonna be a good good addition to the group. How are you gonna have an old, a whole idol group with main character looking idols? That's crazy. Oh my god, is she gonna join as well? No fucking way. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Siblings TV series? What? Yeah, just because of I. I, I think now like every, every one of these characters is going to join the idol group. This idol group will pop off if it had these two as well. Surely not though. Like they, they've got to be too popular, or at least a green hair girl. Oh, she was into the show. <laughs> She's weird. What the fuck? Yeah. She's 
it's definitely a personality in, in private. Oh uh, yeah, you got to tone yourself down for TV. Bro, Aqua is slaying. And look at this main character ass, of course he is. Why, did, why is the man I fell for such a hoe? <laughs> nice. Oh, is this a YouTube channel? Bro, we're really popping off. Oh. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, because it's Bikamachi's by the same company. <laughs> oh, God. Damn, they all look the part. Crazy. Ruby's going to be be the best dancer, probably. I mean, she'd be the, the main character of the idol group. The idol otaku. Is it Aqua? Why did I ever agree to become an idol? Aqua? Yep. <laughs> she's like, oh, yeah, that's it. Damn, she's so pissed about that. It was a TV show, bro. Bro. He knows exactly what to say. Gone. Disintegrated. Thanos. Oh, finally, we're at this point. Give me the deets. Mind your business. For no reason at all. Just because, you know, if whoever this is ends up dead in the future, don't mind it. Oh, I wonder if it's going to be the theatre company that maybe Akane works for? Yep. Wow, okay. I wonder if Akane knows that. Ah, so she met someone from that company. Interesting. Okay, this is a good clue, I guess. Not exactly the person, the father, but it's a clue. Is the does the leaker, does the leader happen to have blonde hair? Mm, okay, yeah. Forty thousand yen sushi dinner. Wow. So is Aqua's role now just going forward, just side quest on side quest on side quest, like moving from place to place, getting little answers at a time? Is he subscribed? Have you got notifications on? Japan? Oh, nice. G it's called GIF. Nice. I wonder if there's going to be like diehard like fans who are still going for Bikamachi who are going to be like against these guys like reviving it. Yeah. This is a really good opportunity. What? Leader? Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, it's got to be Ruby, right? Well, Ruby can't really sing, right? But she's great at dancing. The wisdom of age. Is it going to be Kana? Oh my god, that's cute. That's fucking cute. Maybe, uh, maybe Kana's got some, got some lungs on her, got some pipes on her. Yeah, <laughs> that's one way to decide. I think especially because two of them are, like, blonde and one of them's got, like, great red hair. I think Kana could be the center in, in that sense. <laughs> oh wow <laughs> this poor girl man oh Kana I feel bad for her I kind of want her to be the center now why don't we get Aqua to decide because if he chooses Kana then she'll do it
<laughs> He's not into either of these girls, though. Wait, I didn't. I didn't see the score. You got forty-three. Maybe we need com someone completely new to the group, or maybe I don't know. That'd be a bit of a stretch at this point. I can't. I think it would be Kana. I think they'll hear her sing, and she'll be amazing, and then they'll be like, "Yeah, you've got to be the center." Oh, she's got a number of songs. Yep, this is it. We're going to find out how good she is. Sounds like an anime opening. Slice of life. Rom-com. Yeah. Are we getting the full song? Cool. Yep, it's got to be Kana. Yep, she really got some lungs on her. 10 out of 10, definitely the center of the group. Ninety-seven points. Wow. Right, so that was Oshinoko episode nine. Uh, another nice little episode there. Um, it's nice to see that Kana's probably going to be the center of the group, especially with her singing ability. Um, yeah, it's interesting as well. Like, obviously, it's theorizing at this point, but like seeing the potential of the characters, like the pink-haired girl and maybe the green-haired girl that could join um, Bikamachi. This would be an insane group with those two, like looks-wise, and obviously the green-haired ones, like actually really famous from what i remember um yeah uh, i'm looking i'm loving it mem being 25 that was a surprise and um, she definitely looks like the age she's set telling people that she is so that's wild she could be the same age as um uh, ruby but uh yeah overall a very good episode we also get uh, a look into well a step closer i suppose into finding out um who the father is through this theater company that Akane is a part of. So then that then loops back, actually thinking about it, that loops back into Akane's story. So that'll keep her as a kind of recurring character as well, which is cool. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to the next episode. As always, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.